Well, you be sure and tell Will that we send our love, okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, before you go, uh, you know, I was thinking, Will has been talking a lot lately about how he really wants his whole family back together. And, and I, I was thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if we, if we all got together with the big family meals like we used to? You know, holidays, birthdays, everybody dropping by. All families change, Jennifer. Well, well, sure they do, but that doesn't mean that we have to grow apart. You know, I, I know that things have been really rocky, and, it, and it, it'll be hard for some of us at the beginning, but if we start small, you know, perhaps a lunch, you, you guys could call Uncle Bob, and Chris and I could call Paul, and we could all share the afternoon together. Oh, yeah, sweetheart, Bob and Chris are out of town right now. And uh, as much as we admire what you're trying to do for Will, I'm not sure that the uh, troubles within the family can be solved over lunch. I don't know that I'm particularly eager to referee between Barbara and Paul over a pasta salad. Oh, thank you for your candor. Oh, that that won't happen. You know something? You have Paul. Hmm. Call me. We'll do something about this, okay? I think our table's probably okay. ready. Something like the warm embrace of family, huh? Mama, I'm so sorry. You know what? <clears throat> it's okay. I just think I need a moment to myself. I'll be right back, okay? It's Jen. Uh, I'm here at the Lakeview dining room, and I need you to come over here as soon as you get this message. It's really important. It's about Will. I had it made for you. From behind bars, you had this made. Oh, when you have power, it's amazing what you can accomplish. Use it carefully and wisely. You can accomplish anything. in Latin. Translates, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Thank you. But I... Just take it, Paul. All right, I'll take it on one condition. This is our last visit. You don't summon me. I'm not dropping by for any more of your little chats. Good. Good. It's about time you learn to stand on your own two feet. Now let's see if you can do it. Okay, so we've got to find another way. Okay? Uh-huh. So come on. Just, just be civil. That's all I ask. Civil. Well, since no introductions are necessary, let me get down to the reason why I invited you both here today. Jennifer. Jennifer, I told you I wasn't ready for this. Paul, Jen, brought you down here today for no reason. I'm sorry. And I'm hungry. So what do you say? Why don't we sit down, have a little lunch? Why did you... Is this a joke, Paul? No. This is me trying to give you a hug. You want to hug me? Since when? Since, I don't know. Since Jen suggested we sit down and get a little something to eat. What's for dessert, arsenic? Please don't go, Mom, please. What did you call me? Mom? You haven't called me Mom since you came back from Canada. Yeah. I've been a little angry. And you're not now? Well, I'm trying to change. I've been angry a long time, and look where it got me. Rose is dead. My kid brother's in an insane asylum. You're all I've got left. You and Jennifer. So what do you say? 
you sit down and get a little something to eat? Please, Mom. Yes, it is. If it's genuine, how can I be sure that you're not trying to lull me into dropping my guard? What would be in that for me? I don't blame Mom for being a little skeptical. This from the woman who invited us to lunch in the first place. <sighs> yes, but I, I never expected you to have such a wholehearted conversion. Well, why not? Because you, you've been rather consistent in your attitude towards Mom. I, I was hoping that you would soften a little, be able to talk, but I never expected you to walk in here open arms, declaring a truce. It's, it's a bit premature. Premature. My kid brother poisoned my fiance because he thought that he was losing me and that I was breaking up his family. I can't ignore that. No. Am I am I happy with the way you behaved, Mom? No. But you're probably not very happy with some of the things that I've done. So where does that leave us? If I'm angry at you and you're angry at me, then nothing will change. We've lost two people. And we have a chance to get one of them back, but in order for that to happen, we both need to make an effort. In the courtroom, you told me you blamed me for Will's attitude yeah. and his actions. I know. When the judge gave you probation, I, you have no idea. I, I wanted to see you locked up forever. Because then it would be done, it would be finished. And the whole world would know whose fault it was, and I could just get on with my life. But the truth is, it wasn't your fault. Or Will's. Rose is dead because of me. Setting it was to Will that I was marrying Rose. That he thought that I was breaking up his family. But I didn't want to hear it from either one of you. You especially, after what you did, bringing Dusty into this. I made a mistake, I know that. You I... were wrong. I would have been very happy with Rose. I guess I just didn't realize how upsetting all of this was for Will. And Rose knew. She saw this whole thing coming. She knew I'd never be able to walk away from you. So I thought maybe if I just banished you, you know, if I covered my ears and just tried to drown you out. But that's not what Will wanted, so Will just kind of got tugged on from two different directions until the kid just finally split. Honey, we're all to blame here. But Will has always been a sensitive boy, and after the divorce and the fire and my legal troubles, he Will just couldn't handle it. Will has definitely borne the brunt of all of this. So what do we do now? We have a choice. We can stay angry, or we can help Will. And Will has made his feelings very clear. He wants us to forgive one another and pull together. So what do you say, Mom? I love you. I've always loved you. I've never stopped. I love you too, Mom. Don't you love me? I can't even remember the last time, Paul. I think you've always known how I felt. But to hear you say it. Especially with Will not here. It just... It gives me hope, you know. Excuse me for a minute. I'm gonna get the ladies' room again. <laughs> oh, sorrel soup. What's that? Sounds like something they'd be doing manic depressive afterward. <laughs> 